hello everyone welcome back so this is navin your brains um, in this video we are going to discuss about one of the important concept of bootstrap that is bootstrap pagination so what is this pagination is i think event house observed this in mostly emails uh, like gmail so not all the emails will be loaded automatically i mean just around some 50 emails is going to load it if you want to see the next uh, version i mean the next 50 emails you have to click on a next button right so like that so generally if you develop any website which have a, a large list of employees data so generally is a lady lazy loading concept like only few elements or few employees records is going to load on your page and if you want to load a multiple records like the next pages you want to load it so we will make a pagination uh, feature so using this pagination feature you can click on a next uh, page to just load a next set of uh, elements over there okay so let's have a look in this video how to perform a pagination concept of bootstrap and we also see how to customize the pagination also so let's see here uh, i have webstorm and let's close this i copy the starter file i will just paste it i'll just change this to 14 underscore bs underscore pagination yep here so i just change this now but to the pagination fine and then i'll just load that page in the browser yes that's the pagination page uh, if you want to know what is meant by pagination, just have a look at, our, uh, at the official documentation of Bootstrap. You can just click on documentation, go to the components and click on a pagination. Yeah, this is a pagination. See, we have a pagination default and we have a classes. Uh, page item, uh, so I mean pagination, page item, page link. So like different set of uh, paginations are available, uh, classes. So we're going to start with these things. So here. I'll write uh, a default pagination. I'll just take one division once. Uh, inside, I'll take one UL, one list item, one anchor tag. So for this UL, you can give the class called pagination. And for the list item, you can give the class called page item. And then for each anchor tag, you can give a class. Uh, you can give a class called page link. Fine. And this here, you can give some text called previous. So it's a previous pagination. So let's have a look. Pagination, page item, and page link. This is the order. So let's check here. See, I got a, a very default and basic pagination concept. Next, I want to make multiple links over here. So I'll just copy uh, the list item. I'll just paste it and paste it and paste it. So I'll just take it as one and this is two and this is three and let me paste one more time and this is four. Let's paste one more. That's a five and then one more. Let's make it as a next and then check. See, we got a default pagination with this options. OK, looks good. And here, uh, but there is no border or something to identify the, the proper pagination concept here. So that's why I have taken the entire UL concept inside a one division. I'll give one some my own class. So page, I'll take the container. It's, a, it's, it's my own class just to give some border to identify this, how much it is occupy and all. So page container. So let me copy this. So I'll go to the styles dot page container. Uh, for page container, I'll give some border around some one pixel solid and the light gray color. Yes, so you can identify now it's a pagination. And here uh, you got some margin in the bottom. Uh, what is that? I think it's a pagination. You can say dot pagination. Mm, I'll just remove the margin bottom. Let's say margin zero. So that is, is removed. Fine, at least. Uh, then, yeah, so this pagination, I want to give some padding inside. I'll go for padding some 10 pixels. Yeah, this looks good. So I have a pagination. And here, uh, so which page you are in, you want to identify, you can give a class called active. So what is that is? I want to give a page number one as active. So page item, I'll give a class called 
active if I give the class called active see the page one we are in and you can click on a page two page three and you can make them active automatically when you move to the same that page using a JavaScript. so we have an extra class called active to make that active pagination this is one thing and here pagination just this is a basic pagination concept here we have different types also we have pagination small is there pagination large is there this is a medium pagination if you want to make it a smaller you can give pagination pagination sm if i give pagination sm the even smallest pagination is going to come if you want to make a normal pagination you can just copy uh, i'll just write a comment over here this is pagination sm is a smaller pagination okay you want to make uh, a normal pagination a medium range of you can just copy the entire thing and uh, i'll just paste it so here everything is same pagination md actually there's no class called md it's a default uh, pagination is you can remove the pagination sm so what happened it will become a default uh, a medium size of pagination but one problem is uh, uh, my division is having some uh, there's no margin around uh, one small thing i'll do for page container i'll give some margin uh, bottom sorry uh, no dots margin bottom some 10 pixels so what happened you get some space yes looks good so this is a medium uh, pagination and we have larger pagination as well so what i do i'll just copy this entire setup i'll copy i'll paste it so this is going to be the large pagination so what i do is extra class uh, you have to give for this to make it large for pagination side by pagination lg if you give pagination lg you're gonna get the slight larger pagination okay this is a large pagination so you can have smaller medium and large uh, not only this one you have rounded pagination also what is that is i'll just copy that and paste again i'll just make it a a, a normal one i don't need this lg i'll make a pagination uh, sm you can take smaller one yes so here i'll tell you uh, you have not the square one you can have a circle one so what is that is there's a pagination circle is there if i give the class called pagination circle this will be the circular pagination see all the elements has come with the circular pagination and we'll see pagination circle sm the small circle one pagination one concept uh, i'll make it medium circle pagination i'll copy the same thing i'll paste it so i'll change this to this is medium medium means nothing to give just remove the sm so by default it is medium uh, circular pagination next uh, i'll just copy again i want to make a large one i'll copy and paste it uh, i'll change this to circular lg so extra you have to give is pagination pagination lg so large circular pagination you get the larger circular and pagination okay this is how it works fine and you want to make even the customized pagination uh, i'll do one thing i'll just copy this entire thing for customization i'll copy i'll paste it here uh, it's a custom pagination so i don't need a circle i need large but i don't need circle we don't need circle uh, you can remove the circle one just normal pagination and lg i got a large pagination like this fine so extra thing what you can do is you can give some nice border for each link also so that is actually the page link if you want to give some nice border because you can't see the boundaries for each element until you hover right uh, you want to give some border as a page link is a class let me copy so when i go to the head section i'll say dot page link so for this one i'm gonna give uh, the same border one pixel around so see not get i think it's not page link it's a page uh, item sorry it's a page item yes the page item has come with the border okay you want you can give a borders like this but uh, but in this case border not looks good okay then remove not required 
yeah this is bit far better than the previous border thing yeah so one extra thing i want to tell you is let me go to the last page nation yeah custom here i give the class call active if i give the class call active it's a blue color like this but i don't need i want to make as per my application suppose your application is reddish color template or greenish color template so you have to make these things also greenish and reddish so for that case don't give the class active you can give the class call some bg uh, danger the reddish color like this and uh, i think it's not for page item uh, you can give the class for page link bg danger and text to white text to white so that's see now the same pagination we have a we can highlight the page item with your own color if you want anything any other color you can go with bg or uh, success the green color as per your theme you can match it okay so this how uh, you can do this and this background uh, you want to make some color or something to identify this how much background uh, color you want to give uh, with page container it is this, this whole background uh, you can give the page container some color or you can give extra class call bg light uh, green so i'll just give my own custom class bg light green for the whole box so i want to make uh, this whole box to be some color so that's a class called bg light green so what i do is uh, here dot bg light green i'll give the background color light green color so that the whole pagination will be with some greenish color and the hover you can change the hover effect also as per your own choose and choice okay so that's how a pagination concept works in bootstrap okay so that's it i hope you understand the, the page nation concept of bootstrap and thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you